It's hard enough to hear a conversation in a room with a lot of background noise, but if you have a hearing aid, that can become quite a chore. But fortunately, today we are talking about a magical solution with audiologist Dr. Danny Genevico, and space aliens are going to be visiting us with this solution. Tell us about this. Okay, first of all, understanding in noise is the number one complaint of people that have significant hearing loss. Hearing aids can help with that if you use directional microphones. So it's not that they don't help, but sometimes they don't help enough. Mm -hmm. So let's say, for example, you are a business uh, executive and you're in a meeting room and we've kind of set something up here and you have multiple talkers and you have a substantial loss of hearing. Sometimes the hearing aid doesn't give you what you need because sometimes the noises can be louder than the individuals with whom you're speaking. So we have this concept that we've talked about previously called signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio means you want the signal, which is what you want to hear, to be louder than the noise, which is what you don't want to hear. And although hearing aids can do some things with that, they can't really totally resolve the issue. So one of the things that is done is the utilization of remote microphones. And I just happen to have one here. This is a really new technology. It kind of looks like a little flying saucer. Uh, it is an FM radio station. Neat. Uh, it has multiple microphones in different directions, different azimuths. Wow. And so when you get into a listening situation, like at a boardroom, or say we had several people at this table talking, it finds the loudest talker and it transmits that into the patient's hearing aid. So essentially, the microphones of the hearing aid are turned off. So we're not picking up every little sound in the room. We're actually picking up an FM radio signal from point A to point B. Uh, works pretty well. It's not a perfect device, but I've got a pretty bad hearing loss, and it's bad enough that when my wife and I go out to eat, she always asks me, do you have your disc? <laughs> ah, uh -huh. uh, anecdotally, I was uh, just was on a uh, vacation with my children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. We were on a cruise up to Alaska, and uh, we had the whole bunch of us at a big table, so we had 10, a very, wow. very noisy room. I everybody having trouble. I popped my disc on the table and I really did quite well. In fact, I actually heard things my wife didn't hear and she's oh. got normal hearing. So this is not a panacea. This will not resolve every single issue, but it's a new technology that allows you to pick out what you want to hear in important listening situations over the background noise when the background noise is fairly dramatic. Uh, next time you see your audiologist, you might want to ask them about that. There are several companies that probably make them. Uh, this newest technology is made by a company called Phonak, but I'm sure the other brands of hearing aid probably have them as well. So if you are frustrated that you just can't deal with things because the noises are so much and you're turning your hearing aids off or turning them down or muting them just because you're hearing so much background noise, you might want to think about the option of a remote microphone. And uh, basically it is a radio station that picks up the signal, transmits it to the hearing aid, and basically all you're hearing is what's coming into the device itself. So no total perfect solutions, but as the hearing gets worse, and the noise, understanding of noise becomes more and more of an issue. This is a solution for a lot of people. And can you place it in the center of the table? Yes. Is that the best idea yes. if it's a large yes. table? Yes, and we are sitting at a desk here. We just put it out where you could see it. But let's say we had a round table and mm -hmm. people all around are an oval table. We would put it in the center and it would simply find the talker. And when that person started talking, that microphone would uh, switch on and transmit to the individual that had the hearing loss. Fascinating. And do you have to do anything to your hearing aid first to make sure it's hooked up to that signal? Yes, uh, you can't simply do it with any hearing aid. You have to have a little adapter on the hearing aid, which is uh, a little FM receiver. Uh, in fact, I've got one on this hearing aid. The hearing aid looks like about like a normal hearing aid, but the back end of the hearing aid is actually uh, the FM receiver. Mm -hmm. And so I pop this thing on my ear, and now I'm wearing my own radio station. And so when I get into the situation where I want to use this, I simply push a button on the hearing aid to activate that program, and voila. Yeah, easy does it. And to find out more, the folks at Audiology Hearing Aid Associates can help. In Lynchburg, they can be reached at 434-528-4245, or in Danville, give them a ring at 434-799-6288. You can also find out more online at digitalhearingforyou.com.